Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Aquarius. Uh, this is going to be for the second half of your February from the 16th to the 28th. You could apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be like anything. Nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, so we're going to take a look at your over energies, what surrounds you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the second half of your month. And then we will see what the possible outcome and advice are, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So um, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, what else? Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? Uh, also like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on um, one of my new videos post and one that you go live, okay? So uh, let's take a look here for Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius here. Over energies for Aquarius. What is surrounding Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know for the second half of their February from the 16th to the 30, 30, 28th? Seven of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Page of Swords, Knight of Wands. You know, I feel like Aquarius. I feel like you're going through a period of, you know, kind of reassessing your life here. You know, what you're looking for, what your wants are, you know, what to focus on, that sort of thing here. And I feel like you're about to take action here because I just feel like you've kind of been in this kind of like in-between space for a very long time here. And I feel like you're about to kind of like take action and move kind of like get your butt off the couch or something like that it kind of get moving here okay knight of swords leap or aquarius gemini it seems like you're making a decision to move on from things that are no longer serving you here anymore aquarius yeah, I just feel like you just don't want to waste your time on things that are like holding you back, you know, uh, you know, hindering your own personal growth, spiritual growth and your evolution here. OK, I do feel like you've been sitting on some sort of regret here. OK, you know, some people do kind of go through that period or it's kind of go through little regrets. Man, they should have done that better. But I feel like in a way. It seems like you had to kind of go through it because I feel like there's an energy of you being over it, you know, or, you know, you coming out of it here or that you kind of like, you know, finding the answers that you need, making that decision to move on here or to make changes here. OK, so, you know, I do feel like you're going through like a huge awakening here. OK, this awakening is happening really, really fast. This awakening is rocking your world here because it's giving you a ton of perspective here of, of what to do next, of what you're, what you're looking for here, okay? I do feel like your goals are shifting here too and your goals are changing, okay? So the hangman, Piscean energy, the tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. What else do we have here for Aquarius? Outcome and advice here for Aquarius regarding their situations. What else does Aquarius need to know, look out for, and work on here for February 2023? The second half of their February. Ten of Wands here and the Four of Cups. Aquarius, you're doing a lot of releasing here. The Six of Pentacles here and judge, ju Justice. This is interesting. I do feel like you're you're paying off karmic debt here, and I feel like you're about to finish. Okay, uh, this karmic debt could be, you know, just you know, we've all done bad things in life. You know, I I I don't feel like not not one single person has not done a bad thing. Okay, and that they regret it, and I feel like you know, it seems like you're about to finish off paying your karmic debt here. And I do feel like a lot of this weight that you've been carrying around with you is going to be lifted off your shoulders. Now, it could be karmic debt, not just the karmic debt that you accumulated. It could be, you know, karmic debt from like a past life or karmic debt from people that you've taken on. You know, you know what I mean? That got transferred over to you. 
So I feel like a lot of that's going to be paid off and a lot of that weight that you've been carrying around with you, like I said, is going to be lifted off your shoulders, okay? Six of Pentacles here and Justice. Libra energy here. Nine of Wands here and the Queen of Cups. Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands here. I do feel like you have accumulated or that you've been through a lot of trauma and a lot of pain here. You know, whatever you've experienced, I feel like, you know, naturally when we do, do go, go through this hurt, you know, sometimes, you know, we do tend to like, you know, put things on other people. And I just feel like you're realizing that, you know, that's something that you don't want to do, okay? I do feel like you're making some big changes in your life. And like I said, your go your goals in life are changing here after this is released. Ten of Wands, we have the Nine of Cups, Four of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. There you are right here. It seems like you're doing a lot of releasing here. You've been through a lot here, uh, uh, um, uh, Aquarius, okay? Uh, and I do feel like after you release all this, after that karmic debt is, is paid, I do feel like you're going to feel more happier, okay? With temperance, I do feel like you're going to be at peace with everything. And with the magician, I feel like you're going to be able to sort of like take on whatever comes towards you here with the magician here, Gemini Virgo. Let's see, Nine of Wands. This is interesting because this Queen of Swords has like water here. I feel like a lot of, you know, Aquarius, you know, some Aquarius tend to have a very hard time connecting with their emotions. And I feel like a lot of you guys are connecting with your emotions more, okay? Uh, you're not going to try and sweep it off, uh, sweep it under the rug or make jokes about it, you know? I just feel like there's an energy where you're going to give yourself space, allow yourself that space to feel, to cry, okay? To process. So I, it just seems like you're singing and marching to a whole different beat here, okay? Let's see. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Ooh, the lover is here. Gemini energy and the Queen of Cups and the Five of Swords. Aquarius, I feel like you're putting yourself first, okay? I feel like you're loving yourself more here. You know, I feel like you're learning about strong boundaries here and not letting people take advantage of you. You're going through a huge, huge, huge spiritual transformation here. This spiritual transformation is going to completely change your life. And it has to do with, you know, finishing paying off that karmic debt. And I feel like a lot of you guys are almost done here because I feel like with the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, especially the Seven of, seven of Pentacles, it's kind of like a slow energy. So you guys have been working on this for a long time, okay? So, Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.